Hello everybody, my name is Tiana and you guys are watching Tea Talk. I am here with YBFR Prince. How Hello. are you? What's up, what's up? I'm good, how are you? I'm great. So tell me what does YBFR even mean? Uh, YBFR stands for uh, Young Boss Forever Rich. And um, I basically got that because I'm a young, I'm a young, I'm 19 years old, I'm trying to grind, I'm trying to hustle, I'm trying to do what I gotta do. And I have I have plans on being rich one day. Exactly, you will be rich one day. I like how you have the mentality, like, oh, I'm gonna be rich, yeah. I'm gonna do this. And you're so young at 19. Why did you start rapping like now? And I know you've been rapping for a year. Yep. But how did you start rapping? Well, um, originally I got my inspiration from, I'm not gonna lie, I had a, I've been through a lot of trials and tribulation in my life. Like, um, I come from a family, my family has, they have money, but, um, they were kind of like a go and get it on your own type of thing. So, you know, I had to go out, I had to hustle, I had to be homeless at one point in my life. Really? Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I had to be homeless, but, um, you know, I actually had a girlfriend with me at the time. Mm -hmm. um, we were moving back and forth from New York to Florida, and me and her actually been, we went through a lot of things together, and then uh, she wanted to do me dirty, you know, so I, I have the ins inspiration, like, I'm hurt, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess you could say I'm hurt or I was hurt, and I just try to take take that inspiration from that, and I go and try to you know strive on that. And you put that in your music. I'm I'm very I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, I put it in my music. You know, I put I put a lot of my uh, my heart and soul into my music. Yeah, and I I'm I can't believe I got 19. Like, oh, I wake up, oh, I'm gonna be a rapper. I'm gonna be young. I'm gonna be rich. And I know you only have a little bit that came out. Yep. And stuff like that. But your music is bumping. It's like feel good music but how do you separate yourself from the young generation to you because it doesn't sound the same well um what i try to do is i try to give a little bit of that old soul that i have because i feel like i have an old soul with a new flow that's kind of what i what i kind of go as old soul with a new flow yeah um basically i try to i try to bring some punch lines but at, at the same time i want to i want to give that feel good that I want you to be able to bop your head to it, kind of like Amigos, you know. I kind of yeah. look up to Amigos and and all the newer, the newer, the newer crowd, you know. That that's who draws my attention. So I feel like if I'm getting drawn to them and I'm a younger guy, then that's what the other younger crowd is going to be looking up to. Yeah, and I, that's one thing I like about music. When I was I was listening, I was dancing, I was talking, I was like, oh, this shit's kind of light. But I'm like, when I was listening to it, I'm like, he's 19. Yeah. You know, and then you don't only do music. Tell me about the clothes that you do. Oh yeah, see, um, I had worked on this piece here. It's a young, it says "Young Boss Forever Rich." It's a money robot, money making machine. I plan on actually bringing that out really soon. Um, I make other clothes. I make, you know, we do hats. I actually, this hat has been done. Free World. Um, shout out to the Free World. That's my guy. You know, um, we do anything. You know, I try to, I try to capitalize on, on being free. So, yeah. you know, I try not to be in uh, mental bondage and into. Uh, to you know buying buying different type of Nike and being being a slave to the to the brains He's and stuff brains. like that. Yeah. So you know I try to just I try to stay level headed, I try to stay smart, be positive and you know spread positivity and that's what I feel like I'm gonna be able to do through my clothing, through the through the music. You know, I just try to be a good influence and just spread the positivity around. And one thing you do the artwork yourself. Yeah for the most so, part. So yeah so you have like a creative mind about that. And does like the robot like where did that come from? Um, the robot it came from. I thought about it. Um, I put I had to actually put a lot of thought into it. Yeah. Um, it's called the money making machine. It, I was gonna say it sounds it looks like a machine maker, it's you a, know? It's a money making machine, which yeah. is basically I call myself the money making machine because all I know is grind, all I know is hustle. You know, um, I had really good mentors in my life that taught me how to do certain things, taught me how to get money certain ways. So I feel like. I can go into any state, I can go into any place and go in, and grind and hustle and, and be able to uh, to come out successful. At yeah, the end of the day. And, you know, you will. That's one thing I, I like about you. You're young, but your head is on a different level. Definitely. And it's not just music. Nope. It's, you know, it's, you it's, a make, whole, it's a whole... It's a lifestyle. Yeah, it's a whole thing that you want to do. And I know you came out with a few of your singles. Yep. That you came out with that's on, on SoundCloud. I did uh, Visions, Filthy Rich, and... um. We did Run It Up. The song I fuck with OD's Run Up by J5 Drippy 
How did you come up with that concept for that song? Um, basically one day I was just listening to beats in here and um, my manager was actually telling me how I need to step it up. We, we all need to step it up because uh, he had recently took and, taken a loss where, you know, we all unfortunately have to try to help him get back to a point where he was so that we can bring out more projects and yeah. videos because that, that's why we're on a pause right now because, you know, my manager unfortunately took a loss mm -hmm. and now we're just all having to work together as a team again and to, to get him back to a certain point. But mm -hmm. um, I got the idea from that for that song. I was just being a free soul, just trying to figure out what would people actually be able to, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Feel good to, dance to, grind to. Be able to, to. Re relate to in a yeah. way, you know what I'm saying? And run it up. That's what we're all trying to do. We're trying to run up a check. We're trying to go and, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to grind. That's it. And I see that it's all, like, really feel good music. It's nothing slow. Nope. Nothing like that. But let me let me ask you this. On your first project, you know what that's going to be called? Um... I think I'm gonna go with either Island Boys because that's what that's what I you know I represent everybody here by Island Boys you know I shout out to the Baytown shout out Baytown you know I'm, I'm from the Baytown um, but it's either if I don't go with the Island Boys I'm gonna definitely go with the Money Making Machine because I'm trying to kind of run with this thing I like that one that's I gonna like be it's gonna be machine. a future it's definitely gonna be a future project if not the next project yeah. but I'm definitely gonna run with that because um, I'm definitely trying to push it. Yeah, you know, I want to. I want people to, to see this robot and know, hey, that's money making machine. Like, exactly. That's why BFR is. That's Prince. That's Prince's. That's Prince's. You know, yeah, clothing line right that's, there. That's his label. That's his brand. That's that's his movement. That's what you're doing. That's it. And on your on your first project, right? Mm -hmm. You have a lot of up tempo songs. You're gonna slow it down for us a little bit on some of the songs and talk about what you actually really went through and stuff like that. Um, being homeless and anything. I definitely, I definitely have a song um, already that I have in the archives. I have maybe 17 to 20 songs in the archives right now okay. that I'm just waiting for the right moments to drop. Like, um, I had this song called Money Money Shark where I'm talking about how a girl had broke my heart, I'm talking about my ex girlfriend, mm -hmm. and um, I said I'm, I'm basically saying like ever since she broke my heart, I just wanted a push start like a car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I say um, ever since she broke my heart, I've been a money making shark. So it's like ever since ever that. since I've been broken down, it's like it's put my it's put my mind into a different area where it's like I have to go and get it now. I have to go kind of shit on my ex, you know? Yeah, and <laughs> that's what you're doing now. That's what I'm trying to do. That's, <laughs> that's what it's all about. We're trying to. Yeah, like you're so young and you're so driven and you're so smart yep. about oh. about what you're doing. And you you have I'm trying to put this into words. Like you have your path. You're not really mistaken at going on the wrong path. Nope. You have an awesome manager. You have a great team behind you. Definitely. And you have a creative mind that's going to get you where you want to go. What can we expect from you in the future? Um, what we can expect is a lot more shows, a lot more visuals. Um, I, I plan on going on tour very soon to Florida. I want to do a Florida tour. I want to go to Orlando, Kissimmee, Miami, because that's kind of like a where I was growing up when I was going to high school and stuff. I know a lot yeah. of people out there. I know they'll give me a lot of love, a lot of support. If you had to choose, would you sign to a major label or would you go independent? Um, in all honesty, I would love to go independent. That's that's the main goal. I would like I would like to you know be able to move as an artist by my own because that's just who I am. I'm an independent type of person. Uh, besides having my team behind me, of course, but um. I would take I would take a couple of a couple of um deals. Yeah. You know, I would say quality control, I would definitely sign to them. That's Migos. That's oh. that's that's who they're assigned to. Um okay. I would sign to Interscope. You know, they have they have good things to offer people. Your tattoo. Wow. Yeah. Well, no, we're gonna have to nope, you're gonna have to look at that. Holy crap. Tell me about your tattoo. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to actually uh, get my body all inked up, you know, just have that, have that look that people won't forget, you know. Yeah. They, they see certain things on, on people's body, and it's like, oh, that's how I know him. I know him by those tats, or you know, mm -hmm. the guy with the, with the forearms tatted, or the eye on his neck, or whatever eye, the case may the be. The red hair, the blonde exactly. hair. Exactly. All that good stuff. Maui gang, you already know what type of time we on, you know. Shout out to Maui. If you shout me. And YBFR Prince, you will get a free 
shirt. So thank you so much for coming on my show. It was a pleasure. Thank I really you. appreciate it. And I wish you much success.